Om Tat Sat. My humble prostrations to the all-pervading Brahman or God, to my worshipful Guruji, Swami Jyotirmanandaji Maharaj, to all the sages and saints of this world, and to each of you divine soul watching today's satsang. So today we will be studying Sutra number 21 from the Kevalya Pad of the Raja Yoga Sutras of Patanjali Maharaj, commentaries by my Guruji, Swami Jyotirmanandaji, and narrated by myself, Swami Nikhilananda. So let's get started on sutra number 21 kevalya pad the sutra is chitta antara drishye buddhihi buddhehe ati prasangah smriti sankarascha again chitta antara drishye buddhihi buddhehe ati prasangah smriti sankarascha what does that mean? The pre- by presuming that the chitta is seen by another chitta, then there will not only be an unending series of chittas of the chitta, but also confusion in memory. So, uh, Sage Patanjali in the sutra is further emphasizing the previous sutras and further giving us logic of why there is only one purusha that is making all the final self, purusha or the self, making the decisions and creating the light and therefore all this show that we are experiencing uh, from our chitta. It says, if one chitta is considered as the perceiver of another chitta, remember we said it takes form and makes an object uh, to present to the self through which we experience joy and um, sadness. then this will lead to an unending series for the perceived chitta will in turn need another chitta to perceive it which means it will create a sequence and the chitta is changing and in for and we something that is changing cannot observe properly basically that's what it means and it will continue on and on and on till infinity further since it each chitta in this endless series will become the basis of one's impressions because remember those pictures those images that are formed become an impression that make us react through our sense observations there will be great confusion in the function of memory so it will say which one which how which chitta whereas now the process is much more um, singular much more simplified and very intuitive so otherwise the memory itself which remembers so many things would become confused because it would it would have to memorize all these uh, uh, infinite chittas also so that it doesn't quite work like that is how um, sage patanjali is explaining it works through the one purusha therefore it is evident that the chitta is perceived by the purusha not by these other places who is self luminous and distinct from the chitta so the process becomes very simple the chitta keeps on uh, assuming the image of the uh, perception of what we like through our raga dvesha and so on and then it shows it to the self which we had covered in the previous sutras and the self since there is only one self and there is only one chitta that keeps on changing forms there is no confusion of multiplicity in this scenario and therefore the process becomes much easier this is the essence of sutra 21 we will cover sutra number 22 tomorrow om tat